know, pregnancy does lots of crazy things to the body. And one of those crazy things is called diastasis recti. It sounds like a dinosaur name, but it's a very real thing where the two large panels of ab muscles separate, um, either after pregnancy, during pregnancy, a little bit of both. So first let's test to see if you have a gap there and then I'll teach you some ways that you can strengthen that area and reduce that gap. So come on down to the ground. You're going to take your heels and bring them as close to your glutes as you can. Then you'll lift your head and chin off of the mat or the rug like I'm doing. And then you'll take one hand and place it just over your belly button. You want the gap between your chin and your chest about the size of a softball. You don't want your chin tucked. You definitely want to be looking up toward the ceiling. And then you'll just take your hands and see if you can feel any gap here. So I had my baby about 10 months ago. I still have a little bit of a gap. It's not huge, but I can notice that there's about two fingers here. If I go above, I've got nothing there. So the good news is I only have this going on right down here. But no matter if you have it up top and bottom or just the bottom, it's still good to do these exercises every day to try and repair that area. So our first exercise, you're going to pull your abdominal muscles up and back. So you're not sucking in and you're not tilting your pelvis. You're gonna pretend that there's a string attached to your belly button and it's pulling back and up. So really, Breathe in and scoop those abs. Very good. If you feel your abdominal muscles working here, this is a good place to start. You'll do about five to 10 a day, if you can, more. And you're just gonna scoop up. Holding and release. So you're gonna breathe in. Hold it. Hold your abs right where they are. Hold, hold, hold for about five seconds and release. That's exercise one. Exercise two, you're gonna do the same thing, breathing in. Pushing out and pulling those abs close. You're gonna take your right leg as you push that air out and up. Keep pushing the air out and release. Good, you'll do about five to 10 of those or more. Once again, do as many as you can a day, but kind of take these in sets. Then the next exercise we're gonna do is you're gonna bring your legs to tabletop. You're gonna take your hands into your, um, into your legs and you're gonna press, pulling the abs down, breathing in. Breathe out for as long as you possibly can, pulling those abs back and pressing against your legs and relax. Five to 10 of those. And then we'll stand up for one last exercise that can help you if you do this every day. So you are going to pull in again, pretending there's a string attached to your belly button. And we are going to stand tall, pull in, Breathe all the air out and hold it tight. Hold, 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 hold as long as you can until you have no air left. And release. Second option to that one is your hands can come above you. You're gonna breathe in. All the air out and then twist. until you can't breathe out anymore. Once you need to take a breath in, that's when you stop, reset, and go again. So those are some exercises you can do every day, and if you're consistent, you can reduce that gap in between your abdominal muscles. So give it a try, and I hope you have fun. Thanks.